Hey guys, in this video we're going to have a coach player debate and that is what is more important? Is strategy more important to focus on for your tennis game or is technique more important to focus on your tennis game? I've got some very strong opinions on it so if you want to know what you should be focusing on, your strategy more or your technique more, then let's get started. So if you're watching online instruction and you just kind of feel like you're being pulled in two different directions because you hear one online instructor say, you know what, you should really be focused on your strategy. That's more important. That's going to have a bigger impact on your game than focusing on your technique. And then you have another coach saying, well, you know what? If you can't hit the ball there, it doesn't matter. If you can't execute, your strategy doesn't matter. Okay, so both are actually true. It, it is important to focus on your strategy, but if you don't have the technical skills to execute a strategy, well then, you can't really pull it off, okay? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and break this down as clear as possible for you so you can decide and make up your mind after this video what should you be focused on more? Is it your strategy or is it your technique? So I think if you're out there and you're playing, let's say you're playing at a 3-0 or 3-5 level and right across the net from you is another 3-0 or 3-5 player and you're figuring out, you're trying to figure out how am I going to beat them today? My most important goal for today is to win this tennis match. Well I definitely don't recommend that, that as you're trying to play the match that you have a million swing thoughts running through your mind. Like you're trying to get set, you're trying to get ready, you're trying to get your U-turn and you're trying to have a perfect follow through. This is not the time to be working on your technique. You're going to lock up your brain, you're going to lock up your body and you're not going to perform well and you're going to lose to that player across the net. And this is where watching online instruction and just getting some really good solid fundamental strategies on high percentage tennis and when's the best time to take a risk and, and proper court positioning. This is when strategy is really going to help you beat the player across the net on that day whether you're playing singles or doubles. There's lots of great videos out there. Essential Tennis does a great job. Fuzzy Yellow Balls does a great job. There's many great instructional videos on strategy and if you're trying to beat somebody on that particular day, if it's game day and you want to win, do not spend the entire match trying to figure out why you cannot execute your backhand. Okay, But when you get home, you've got to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. If you go out there and you play a match and your backhand has completely let you down, you're just so inconsistent, so erratic, people are picking on it and you want to go to that next level. You're like, you're like a 3-5 but someday you're like, man, I want to be a 4-0, I want to be a 4-5. Well then, then your technique is your main problem. The technique has to get better because here's another thing about strategy and execution. At a higher level, your technique has to be better because your execution has to be better. Right? So if you have a strategy of hitting a cross court ball or hitting a down the line approach shot or hitting a drop volley, as you get to a higher level, that execution has got to be at a higher level. It's just got to be a better quality shot. And how are you going to do that? You're going to do that by having better technique. So if your technique can be broken down by a 3-5 player, it's not good enough to go up to a 4-0 or 4-5 level. And so now this needs to be a much longer goal for you. You have to really evaluate what are the holes, what are the areas in your game to where when you sit back and you go home you're like, man my serve really let me down today, right? I double followed a bunch of times. That has nothing to do with strategy. That has everything to do with you got some technical leaks, some technical killers in your game that are keeping you from going to the next level. So then you have to go, okay, if I want to get to that next level, my serve has got to improve. My technique has got to improve. I've got to fully get comfortable with being in a continental grip or I have got to get rid of the pizza move because there's just no way to get a powerful consistent serve when you're coming at the ball like this, right? If, if your slice is choppy and floaty, well then you have got to improve your technique in order to get Get more consistent. You know, lots of times if you're looking for consistency, there's two ways to get consistent 
as a recreational player, okay? The first way, especially on game day, is just to forget about trying to look like Roger Federer, and if you're a 3-5 and you're playing another 3-5 and all things are equal and you're just way erratic trying to hit all these shots, simplify your stroke, okay? Make your backswing short, right? Really reach out to your target. Even, even sometimes be okay with just punching a ball back and play just to get one more ball back to win the match. But if you're trying to go, okay, I want my forehand. I don't want to go and play like that forever. I want to get my racket back. I want to take a nice stroke and I want to have a dependable feeling when I swing through the ball. Then the technique has got to improve. Okay, if you want to be consistent playing the way I think you want to play, right, because you're watching instructional videos on YouTube, you're probably not watching instructional videos on YouTube with a dream of you want to go out there and win all your matches doing that. Okay, that's probably not your tennis dream. Your tennis dream is probably to look like Rafael Nadal or Serena Williams or Roger Federer. And if that is your tennis dream, I don't want to keep you from that. And, and also, if you want to go up to a 4 0 or 4 5 or 5 0 level, your technique has got to mirror more of what the pros are doing. And this will help you play more consistent tennis when the match is on the line at a higher level. In fact, uh, I got to do a, an interview with Gigi Fernandez and uh, Mark Woodford the other day and, and we were talking about the volley and they were talking about how they feel like they should never miss a volley. I'm like, well, how do you feel like you should never miss a volley? Recreational players, you know, don't feel like that. We don't feel like that. We, we, we get really self-conscious in matches and, and we miss easy volleys. We overswing. How are you doing that? And, she's, and Gigi Fernandez said, well, because my technique was perfect. So when my technique is perfect and I know I have flawless technique, it builds up your confidence and then you can execute under pressure. Okay, so, so that is super important. Now, if you're looking to do that, what I actually have right now going on, if you watch this video in time, it might not be in time, so make sure you click the link. I'm going to put it in the description uh, box, so make sure you go to the description box and read and click on the link to join a seven-day consistency challenge. It's really awesome because this is going to help working on our technique to get to a higher level, okay, to where you can go out there and compete and swing through your shots and play consistent tennis. The idea is that we're going to get rid of your consistency killers, the technical flaws you have that keep you from being consistent in match play, especially when you want to go for your shots and just not poke your shots in the court. So this is kind of a long-term project. If you know you have consistency killers that are keeping you, holding you back from getting to that next level, whether it's double faulting in a match with your serve or your backhand getting picked on or you just can't feel comfortable running to the court and hitting a solid approach shot and coming to the net, that's what the seven day consistency challenge is all about. And another cool thing is, is each day we have a challenge. We've got drills that you can do on the court, uh, with a ball machine, with even out balls. So we have, we have shadow stroke drills. We have ball machine drills. I even go out to the wall with each and every day and I show you how you can practice against the wall. So whatever your mode of practice is that you like to practice by yourself, you can do that. And I go out and I film all of that so you don't have to leave it up to your imagination. And then we finish each day with a challenge. If you want to do a challenge, each day the winner of a challenge, whether you're using the ball machine, a wall, just a basket of balls, the winner in each category is going to get a $25 gift certificate to, to Tennis Express. And plus, since it's the holidays, we are taking 20% of the proceeds from the challenge and we're giving it to the United Way since this has been such a rough 2020 for everybody. We did this earlier in the year and we were able to raise $2,500 when COVID first hit. We raised $2,500, gave it to the United Way. It was an awesome feeling, but I want to beat that since the holidays. So this will not only be helping you and your tennis game, but somebody out there in need. Uh, so make sure that you click the link and join our seven day consistency challenge. We're going to be starting uh, not, uh, I believe it's going to be December 20th. I, I don't have the, uh, the date right there. I will put it on the video though. I'll make sure I'll put it on the video. And if you love tennis and you want to see more videos just like this, uh, definitely like up this video. I'd love to get this video and get 100 likes. If I got 100 likes on this video, you'd make my holiday season. And plus, YouTube will share it more. And if you're a tennis lover and don't want to miss any tennis instruction videos from me, make sure you subscribe today and we'll see you on the next video.